Hello, everyone. I'm going to start going live. In about a minute, I will explain what we are going to do here today and who I am. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Astha Gulati. And uh, thank you, UNIMO, uh, Universe of Moms, for giving me this lovely opportunity. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to be doing a short 30-minute healing and meditation session using a technique called Soul's Love. But before we do that, a little bit about myself. Um, so I'm Astha Gulati. I'm currently based in Bangalore. Uh, I am a radical healer, facilitator, and mentor. I'm also a hypnotherapist, a pranic healer, um, and I'm a choreographer, a contemporary dancer, and I'm an entrepreneur to two uh, setups, Dhuri and Rumi. So, hi, hi, Himalata. Uh, so, yeah, so today I'm going to be sharing the healing side of my life with you a little bit. Hello, Neetu. Hi, everyone. Uh, so a few things before we start. So this is going to be an interactive session, except when we get into meditation, then you can just lie back or sit back and relax and listen to me. But till then, uh, we can be interacting on comments because I would also like to know your feedback on it as and when it's happening. Yeah. All right. So we begin. So uh, let's first understand uh, what this modality souls love is. So soul's love uh, is actually, we don't even call it a healing modality anymore. It's a way of life. Uh, this is uh, when we understand that anything and everything that is happening in our lives, whether we like it or not like it, uh, is somewhere sanctioned by the soul. The soul had asked for that experience. And in effect, actually, the soul is capable of handling everything that life throws at it. But because we are not positioned properly and we cannot understand it, uh, it becomes painful or the suffering occurs. Because suffering or anything that is not um, feeling right in the moment, that is a matter of perspective of choice. So you can completely reposition, reorient and realign yourself to be able to either handle the situation change the situation or the universe around you itself starts shifting and the situation completely disappears yes so we've had a uh, wonderful uh, results with souls love like it, it works for as simple as when you lose your keys and you can't find them in the house um, to finding a parking well now it's not a problem but when it used to be and uh, it also works for uh, aches and pains it works for when you are um, going through a lot of turmoil uh, towards a person towards a situation there's anger there is frustration uh, so it works for anything and everything and the beautiful part is at the end of this session after this you will be able to use it fully on your own and uh, let me know how it works for you yes okay Hi, 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 everyone. Lovely to have you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. Okay, so uh, let's begin. Let's actually, I can't explain this modality so much. So let's try it out hands on. All right. So is anyone having a recent pain or ache anywhere? Or is there any kind of um, anger, unforgiveness or frustration towards a particular person? Um, if there is, just in the comment box, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest, just put down the intensity of the pain and where the pain is. And uh, or if there is anger, there's frustration, there is uh, feeling bad or grief or sadness, intensity of that also from 1 to 10. Yeah, so one being the lowest and 10 being the highest. This is so that you can also measure after doing soul's love how it makes a difference to your pain or your unresolved emotion. Are we willing to try it, guys? Yeah, so do you want to just put on the comment box if you have a pain, a recent pain or ache or a discomfort anywhere in the body, like an itching in the throat 
or um, anger towards a particular person or frustration, anything. And on a scale of one to 10, how severe is it? 10 being highest and one being lowest. Okay, I'm gonna wait for your messages and see what the number is. Yes, okay. So uh, Himlata, let's work with you. Uh, is there a pain, ache somewhere? I have a bad headache for the last two days. Okay, okay, yes. All right, so on a scale of one to 10, just tell me how intense is this pain or this headache, guys? Yeah, it's continuous. Okay, okay. And how severe is it? Headache four, irritation one. Okay, all right. I have a backache at seven. Okay, lovely. All right, so. So just keep your numbers in mind, okay? Uh, uh, whatever it is uh, with seven is the headache. All right. So just remember the number you're starting with and let's close our eyes. And we're going to just say, so for each one of you, I'm going to give different statements, but you can say it for all, say all the statements, okay? We're going to say each statement three times. So just say, my headache is my soul's love. 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 So whoever's having the headache, just keep saying that. Whoever's having a pain somewhere else, just say my backache or wherever the pain is, my backache is my soul's love. 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 The pain in my body is my soul's love. The pain in my body is my soul's love. The pain in my body is my soul's love. The pain in my body is my soul's love. The pain in my body is my soul's love. The pain in my body is my soul's love. The pain in my body is my soul's love. The pain in my body is my soul's love. My frustration is my soul's love. My frustration at things not working is my soul's love. My frustration at things not working is my soul's love. My frustration at things not working is my soul's love. My frustration at things not working is my soul's love. My frustration at things not working is my soul's love. My irritation 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 is my soul's love. Now take a few deep breaths, breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. and check how severe is the pain now or what is the next feeling that comes up for you when you say that. So for those of you who are working with the pains, just check how is the pain now or is there a feeling with the pain that is coming up? So how does the pain make you feel? How is the frustration at things not working? 
you can chant this 7 to 11 times each statement. Sometimes if it's severe or if it's very deep, you go 21 times as well. Yeah? Okay. Yes. How are we doing? These are just initial few statements, but I just want to get an idea or how, what is the next feeling that's happening? So headache and the backache. How does it feel? How is the frustration? So uh, someone said lethargy. Can you just say my lethargy is my soul's love or my fatigue is my soul's love? Or my tiredness is my soul's love. Yeah, just keep saying that about uh, 11 times and tell me what is the next feeling. Feeling good. Ah, lovely, Deepa. Okay, slightly better, less pain. Yes, beautiful. So Karuna, now for you the next layer would be my need to hold on to this headache is my soul's love. My need to hold on to this headache is my soul's love. Yeah, so you keep saying that for 7 to 11 times. Feeling good. Okay, lovely. Yay. Feeling lighter. Beautiful. Yes, so this is as simple as that. So I will just explain to you how you can do it step by step for you. So whatever is the issue. So supposing it's a physical issue, like a body pain. So you start with that pain. And just keep saying that pain or whatever that ache is, it's my soul's love. That, say that for about 7 to 11 times, then take 3 deep breaths, breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Now say, my need for this remaining pain is my soul's love. That's your next layer. Again, say it 7 to 11 times and then 3 deep breaths, breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. If it's still there, then you say, then you ask yourself, how does this pain make me feel? Okay, so supposing, uh, for instance, if Karuna says this, this headache just makes me feel so helpless. I can't do anything that I want to do. So now you'll work with helplessness and you will say my helplessness is my soul stuff. So you've gone one level deep and after about four to five rounds of this, the headache will come back to at least one or two. Now, why sometimes it may, it may actually disappear also completely, but sometimes it may not disappear because the headache is trying to tell you something. Okay, so maybe the headache is trying to tell you that take charge of your actions in life. Stop letting the environment uh, try to disbalance you or take control of you. So till you don't start doing that, the headache may not drop to zero. But it will definitely come down to a one or a two from seven, eight or wherever you are. Yeah? Please repeat the next level. The next level is my need to hold on to this pain is my soul's love. And the next level of that is my resistance to let go of the pain is my soul's love. And then the next level of that is, how does this pain make me feel? And then you work with the feeling that the pain makes you feel as well. Yeah. And similarly, now if you're working with an emotional issue, then what do you do? So emotional issue, you already know the emotion, right? So you're like, okay, my frustration with things not working is my soul's love. So that's your first layer. Then as you say that, maybe the frustration reduces and it becomes again like you're this, this thing of the no one listens to me. So, my need to feel that no one listens to me is my soul's love. Yeah, then you keep saying that 7 to 11 times. Now, maybe another feeling comes in that, um, I don't know, I feel useless. So, my feeling of being useless is my soul's love. Till you reach a point where you're feeling a little calm, you're feeling peaceful and you're ready to go ahead and do something. Yeah, it works beautifully. It actually just takes 5 minutes. It took us 5 minutes right now. Yeah. No, this is for emotional and physical. So it can work for relationship issues, uh, spiritual issues, emotions, anger, frustration, jealousy. It just whatever is your emotion, just put that under soul's love. Yeah, does that answer your question, Tanya? Okay. Easy enough? Any questions on this? Do you want to try it on your own? So maybe you can do it after the session, try it and write to me how the feedback is. Uh, I'm on Facebook or you can message me on Instagram um, and let me know how the feedback is. We obviously can go much deeper with it also. Uh, this is an entire modality that you get to learn. Uh, but I just thought I'll give you a little um, introduction to it and how beautifully it works. Even trying to help out is itself so satisfying, very assuring. Yes. Lovely. Thank you, Indu. Uh, this modality is called Soul's Love. 
uh, this is a part of radical healing. I will type it out here. It's radical healing. And I am a senior facilitator and mentor in that. So we use varying techniques in that. We use something called the R5 technique. We use the soul's love technique uh, to work with physical, emotional, spiritual issues and even connecting to your life paths and understanding what is it that you're really meant to do. It's very easy. And the best part about radical healing is it's that it's easy, it's effortless and it's a lot of fun. So I, I just want you guys to try it. This is the modality that I've given you. Try it and see how it feels. Want to come out of some emotion. Yes, yeah, so what is that emotion, Deepa? You give it a name. Like what, what emotion are you feeling? Or if you can't feel it, uh, uh, sorry, if you, if you don't have a name for that emotion, check in your body. Where in the body are you feeling that emotion? So say, for instance, the heart is going thak, 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 right? So then what do you say? You, take, you say this thak, 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 thak in my heart is my soul's love. It will still work. That is the beauty. It still works. Yeah. Or if you can give that emotion a name, then you can just say, say my anger is my soul's love. My need to get angry is my soul's love. My need to hold on to anger is my soul's love. So that's how you keep working with it. My emotions are my soul's love. Yes, blanket statement. <laughs> but not all emotions are required to just go away. Uh, so maybe you can um, uh, give it a name or like a feeling to it. Yes. All right. Okay. So uh, are we good to do a quick meditation with soul's love as well? So just to experience how when you take soul's love through the entire body, uh, um, what it does to the body. It feels amazing. Yeah. All right, so maybe move away from your screens and stop typing. Just lean back against a wall or lie down. Just sit in a place or lie down so that you are very comfortable. Close your eyes. And take a few deep breaths in and out. Give yourself the permission to relax. For the next few moments, I want you to breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. And as you breathe in through the nose, breathe in a lot of positivity, peace, bliss, love and as you breathe out through the mouth breathe out any negative emotions any stuck feelings anywhere in the body breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out. And then return to normal breathing and turn your attention to your toes. And in that space, silently just say, my toes are my soul's love. My toes are my soul's love. My toes are my soul's love. Moving into the heels, we say, My heels are my soul's love. My heels are my soul's love. My heels are my soul's love. Moving upwards into the ankle region. Say, my ankles are my soul's love. My ankles are my soul's love. My ankles are my soul's love. My calf muscles are my soul's love. My calf muscles are my soul's love. My calf muscles are my soul's love. 
My calf muscles are my soul's love. My knees 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 are my soul's love. Moving upwards, focusing onto your thighs. We say, my thighs are my soul's love. 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 Moving into your pelvis area. My hip joints are my soul's love. 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 Focusing your attention in the torso area. All the organs that it has, all the muscles, your abdominal muscles, your intestines. So we start saying our stomach, my stomach is my soul's love. My stomach is my soul's love. My stomach is my soul's love. My chest is my soul's love. My chest is my soul's love. My chest is my soul's love. Begin to focus on your heart center and say, my heart is my soul's love. 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 Focus your attention onto both your shoulders now. And as you keep breathing, just silently affirm, my shoulders are my soul's love. My shoulders are my soul's love. My shoulders are my soul's love. Let your attention shift to both your arms. And we say, my biceps are my soul's love. My biceps are my soul's love. My biceps are my soul's love. My elbows 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 are my soul's love. My forearms 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 are my soul's love. Both my palms are my soul's love. Both my palms are my soul's love. Both my palms are my soul's love. Let's turn our attention into our back now. And we say, the back of my neck is my soul's love. The back of my neck is my soul's love. The back of my neck is my soul's love. My shoulder blades are my soul's love. My shoulder blades are my soul's love. 
my shoulder blades are my soul's love. My entire spinal cord is my soul's love. My entire spinal cord is my soul's love. My entire spinal cord is my soul's love. And let's move into our face now. So my facial muscles are my soul's love. My facial muscles are my soul's love. My facial muscles are my soul's love. The top of my head is my soul's love. The top of my head is my soul's love. The top of my head is my soul's love. The top of my head is my soul's love. My entire body is my soul's love. My entire body is my soul's love. My entire body is my soul's love. My entire life is my soul's love. My entire life is my soul's love. My entire life is my soul's love. The people in my life are my soul's love. The people in my life are my soul's love. The people in my life are my soul's love. The people in my life are my soul's love. My house is my soul's love. My house is my soul's love. My house is my soul's love. And now, slowly start coming back to the here and now. The body may be feeling slightly lighter, maybe there is a tingling, maybe it's feeling more relaxed. It's absolutely okay. Maybe for some of you, it could even be feeling more energetic. So slowly with that awareness, just start coming back. Move your toes, move your fingers, move your neck from side to side slowly. Rub your palms together now and place them on your eyes. Slowly blink open your eyes into your palms and come back whenever you're ready. Okay, how are we feeling everyone? How does it feel to do a full body spa with Soul's Love? Anything you want to ask me or share, please do so. I'm here for about 2-3 more minutes. And uh, if you have any feedback, I'm most open to receiving it. So please let me know. Feeling very fresh and lighter. Lovely Himalata, so nice to know. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, if you have any questions, lighter. Lovely. Karna, headache is better? Lighter. Lovely. Okay, amazing. Yay, thank you. Okay, all right. So, uh, in case you have anything to share, please do so. You can message me separately. You can uh, also reach out to me on Instagram. I'm available on my handle astha.gulati, double A S T H A dot G U L A T I. Yeah. And I want to take this moment to say a big, big, big thank you to Univo, Universe of Moms, uh, Mumo, Mumbai Moms, and to Neha Kare Kanabar, and especially to Neetu Pant for reaching out to me. 
uh, and giving me this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. You guys are doing a great job here. Um, and if I can contribute anything to make your life easier, happier, please, please do reach out to me. I would be humbled and grateful to do so. Yeah. Uh, yes, we'll continue doing. Hey, it's the best feeling. Actually, a spa. Lovely. Thank you. Feeling good. Can we do it for job frustration? Yes, of course you can. So my frustration at my job is my soul's love. My frustration towards my boss is my soul's love. But it's always helpful, Dhanya, to go a little deeper. Uh, that, okay, so why is your job frustrating you? What is happening? The deeper you get in touch with your own feeling, the more effective and permanent the solution is. Yeah? So I hope that helps. Full body spa with soul's love. Yes, indeed. We should call it mind spa. <laughs> with soul's love we will be doing this beautiful thank you thank you so much yes tears flowing out felt really good thank you Indu. means a lot gratitude thank you guys and uh, i hope to see you yeah take care and a lot of love <laughs>